Hello, everybody, all over the world. What's up? Shit. Hey. What's up? Do you like my paintings? Pretty sweet, aren't they? Yeah, I think this is the first episode I did where I have the posters up, I think. I have um, I have all ten of them, including Sex and Hail, but uh, I haven't gotten all the frames yet, so there's only a couple up uh, left. So, welcome to High GPS 246, the Wrangler Rescue Ranger combo. This uh, combination of unlocks is used to be extremely common. Uh, and I think most of you know how it works, so I won't really give a demonstration. This is actually going to be, the, I think, the shortest engineer episode ever because, uh, first of all, I didn't play a lot with this because of Overwatch. And also, it's not that interesting. And also, I think all of you guys played Overwatch and didn't find Rescue Ranger Wrangler that interesting. Um, the only difference is that, uh, basically, the Wrangler can't bullet sponge which is a fix uh, we proposed in the spreadsheet that I got implemented. And the Rescue Ranger got changed too, so I forgot to check exactly what, so I'll do that right now while all of you are watching. And even though I've been preparing this for, for quite some time, then uh, it's it's still, uh, still a bit off. So let's see, let's see, was it the gunmetal that changed it? Let's see here, so... Let's just hang out, you know, talk, chill, look at the paintings in the back. You can see, like, the medic's lower part here. Okay, so Rescue Ranger was not changed. Uh, let's see. In the gunmetal, but maybe a tough break. Let's see, rescue. Yeah, there you go. Um, so they reduced the healing a little bit, like, with 15, from 75 to 10. Um, health per bolt so it's a little bit but it's not the end of the world and I haven't really noticed much because I don't play with it like oh you didn't notice the gun you don't play has changed wow what a fucking helpful analysis you are you dumbass anyway let's go into the you should submit it once and you guys you had some really good replays today uh, not that many but they were, were good so we're gonna open with the intro it's gonna be rattle wrench fellow comrade that is uh, doing that. So, it's gonna be playing on bad water. Offense, actually. Uh, it's gonna run into a pyro and then build a dispenser. And oh, look at this trickery. What magic trick, trick trickery is this? It's kind of crazy. And they have another engineer there on offense. And he kills pyro and a sniper with the rescue ranger. So, even though it doesn't do that much damage, like if you look at the rescue ranger here. If you look at the rescue ranger. If you look at the rescue ranger, it has 50. It does less damage than a shotgun, even though it doesn't say. It just says fire special bullets. He also has a golden wrench because he's cool. So then put in the cart, and remember when you're pushing the cart, you get so much metal, so you can just hurl out buildings, which is essentially what he is going to be doing. So here we go. Hanging out in the back here. Would like to see him just pull up down and exit, just because he has the metal for it. But he runs into kind of a demonite that's being a bitch. So he runs back and does the only sensible thing, and that is watch his spy, or a spy, destroy his sentry, and then leave. So now he's gonna shoot, do some damage, and then kill a sentry. Because keep in mind, you know, we have to, the, it, it's hard to be an attacking engineer because you have to keep moving your buildings up. And look at this sneaky, 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 sneaky. Oh, yes! He's gonna build it here. He's gonna upgrade it so it's tall enough to see over the edge. It's like a little kid at a baseball game. Because most of you are American, so that's like the game you associate the most with like football. You think about American football and you call it soccer, but it's not. But eventually, he gets it to level two, and it's still too short. Well, fuck it. Just gonna move it up here. Oh, shit. Time's about to run out. Shit, shit, shit. Repair! Re uh, range repair! Cool. Now, he hasn't used the, uh, the Wrangler yet, though. He hasn't used the Rescue Ranger for that long range repair. He's pushing a card here, and he's gotten a lot of kills with this gun. But oh no, he's out of range! What will we do? What will we do? Oh, right, yeah, cool. We just wrangle and try not to kill ourselves. Ugh, very close. Oh. Nice. So that was kind of the intro showcase. 
most of what you can do. Not that you can pick up buildings from far away, but I assume that uh, most of you guys know how this works because it's pretty much like the, the way it works has been unchanged. So this is pretty much just going over it pretty quickly uh, the way you do. But there's uh, an interesting aspect that I actually didn't know that I learned from this replay also featuring a rattle wrench on offense. So now he's had enough and realized that level threes is kind of a bitch to use on offense. Uh, if it gets destroyed. So he's actually gonna go with mini sentries and one thing you might wonder is that well how much metal does it cost to pick up a mini sentry? And it's only a hundred metal. Well it costs more for larger buildings. I believe it's 124 dispensers and uh, sentries. So he hurls out some buildings. He's just gonna push the cart, get some metal, and then he picks up the gun and plonks it down. It's a mini sentry, you don't really have to, but it does build quicker. There's a sentry up there now taken out so nice a job there and it's gonna be wrangling some stuff keep in mind to think when you aim so the sentry can only see whatever the sentry can see right so if you're aiming right so you got to remember where you put it and you got to have that ability to know that your sentry cannot shoot here because it doesn't see that but he can shoot anyone on the ridge so that's important to do the worst thing I see is people who have a sentry there aim some they aim where they can see but the sentry can't and the sentry just ends up shooting the wall um and people are asking like is this a bad idea to use this combination and i go absolutely this combination of unlocks fucking sucks um because there's no real reason to use the rescue ranger you could use the shotgun or the thompson or the Widowmaker. um oh look at this we are gonna the counter to a sentry is more sentries so we're just gonna go and we're gonna wrangle that sentry oh ayo. and the heavy stolar kill and the medic up the assist but at least we kill the scout working on that too okay and look at how he's almost out of ammo right he's almost out of ammo and oh no a spy a spy came and he doesn't even care about the mini sentry because we can build 100 metal would have cost less to, you know, repair it and fix it and move it, but uh, you have infinite health on the cart, so there you go. So the main problem with this is just the pure DPS, and uh, then he dies to an arrow. It's the, it's the DPS, right? So you think like, well, in you have increased firing speed from the sentry, so the sentry shoots faster, right? Doesn't it? Yes, it does shoot faster. Uh, I should know exactly how much. Um, so... I mean, it reduces the um, the damage of a sentry taken by 66% and repairs. So that's what we wanted in the previous change. That's what why it was a bullet sponge. Like if you do the 100 damage, that gets reduced to 66%. And then when you repaired it, it was like 100%. So you had like effectively more health. But now all you do is add the extra health. So that means if you have something that you eventually will kill the sentry, if you just do enough damage, you can't sponge it away. So that's the thing about, uh, I don't think a lot of people has realized with the uh, the update of this, is that if you just fire, like before, if the engineer pull out the Wrangler, if you watch the Sigifu save, you just couldn't kill the gun because you just soaked up all the damage. But now, if you just shoot at it, it will die because it repair rate and damage reduction is the same rate. Um, so that's cool. So now we have Rattle Wrench here. It's gonna be building a level one and wrangling it. And this is actually a pretty funny replay. I liked it. I laughed. It's a beauty too. If you don't, your humor sucks. That's the best way to do it. So yeah, normally what I want to say is that like you increase the damage of the sentry. So let's just figure out exactly how much by going to Wikipedia mid-episode and check. Because <laughs> I forgot to do that before the show. Um, for people, if people who watch this in the future and watch the other part first saw the entire process, but there, there's a video behind the scenes of, of this this video like how i make this and um i was gonna look this up but i forgot so let's just uh take a look here at the wiki and hope that the wiki is correct they aren't always but mostly they are uh so let's see yeah double firing speed yes yeah, so you shoot twice as fast so your sentry has twice the dps but it follows your aim and only fires at, uh, at your target uh, but then like what it says like mini sentries don't really have that much DPS so double DPS from them. Yeah, sure It's nice, but I do think DPS if you shoot with your shotgun and the DPS combined with this mini sentry is more than just by a single mini sentry And also even if it let's say it isn't just this is the math I'm supposed to do but I didn't do right if you Because then there's two 
places firing and not just one. So that means like if you're wrangling and you die, your gun's gonna stop shooting. But if both of you are shooting and either of you die, one of the other sources is gonna continue doing damage. So like the overall damage is pretty good. So right now, uh, not a lot is happening uh, with Rattle Wrench. Oh, but we have Heavy up here. Hello. Oh, repair. 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 Wait, that's what we're like. Oh, <laughs> that was so funny the second time around. Jesus, I nailed that timing. Holy crap. So that was the rattle wrench launch of a heavy. So that is the strategy for heavy stance right above it. You just shoot up and kill it and have the commentator that is instru instructing just fucking ruin the joke. So there you go, he's gonna jump up here, can't make it, and then you shake his head in disgust. Runs into a pyro that realizes he has a button. And then he runs into the sentry and dies. Just as you planned all along, I'll have you know. Um, Karma's camera, a sentry does 13 damage per bullet. That's all he knows. He doesn't know his own name, doesn't know his birthday, or his country's in. He just knows that a sentry bullet does 13 damage. So, moving on, we're going to look at Faeris. Faeris, and he's going to be playing on Harvest, the king of the hill map. Yes, and he's going to be using the fancy strategy of building right out of spawn. And now, you might think to yourself, well, building in spawn to then carry it out is a pretty bad idea. Normally, right? Normally I say, like, Building in spawn, then moving out, not a good idea. But the enemy is using a strategy that we know fairly well. A strategy related to spawns that we all know. And the strategy is, say it with me, running into the enemy spawn and dying. That is the enemy strategy. Here we have one guy who runs into the enemy spawn. And then he dies. So he's gonna go back and work on this. Prepare. Now, another spy runs into the enemy spawn and dies, and then a scout runs into the spawn, he doesn't die, but then the pyro comes in and runs into the spawn and dies. And then you have to, you have to repair this. And then another scout runs into the spawn, dies, and then the third one, four people, or five with the pyro, has ran into the spawn and died. He didn't have to do shit to kill those guys. They just fucking, they just showed up. They're like, oh, is there a minefield here? Let me headbutt first and see if it works. Yep, can't confirm, I'm dead. Minefield works as intended. So, by protecting the spawning, reeking up lots of kills, he's gonna bring the gun. He's gonna, he's gonna bring the gun. He will bring, yes, there we go. And he costs only 100 medals. Okay, so every building is 100 medal for pickup now. Sorry, I remembered wrong so it's the same as a mini sentry and that means that you can pick up a building and build a dispenser is what that means and you will see that later let's keep in mind when i watch this i watch these uh, in pretty full speed so there we go get a dispenser going as well oh wrangle the mini sentry doesn't have a chance of surviving gun just doing so much damage here look at all this damage it's just soaking up and you don't even need to wrangle that shit because it's in range uh, so, yeah. Just keep in mind that if you're fighting an engineer and you shoot at a gun and he wrangles it, just keep shooting it. He won't be able to repair it uh, in time for it to die. So that's like a notion that you have to get rid of. So. And also, he picks up the ammo from the spy knowing that he's a dead ringer. Oh, no! Got taken out by the direct hit. The counter to oh, fuck us a pyro. We got a random crit and we will survive by uh, being indecisive and backstab. So, uh, his combination, normal wrench, works all right. Uh, people say like, Jag might have been better, but Jag is better at getting up quicker, but you can't maintain for as long. And sometimes the sentry level doesn't really matter, but it's only the repair rate of your sentry that matters. Because, sure, you might get it to a higher level faster, but if it dies f faster than it kills, then it's better to have more health and survive longer and then kill the target slightly slower. Right. Right, so this is uh, Karma's camera. 
it's gonna, probably going to show us the best replay. Also, I fixed the HUD. As you can see, you can now see how many kills the, the thingamajig has. So he's going to be playing here on Badwater. Just the standard stuff. I mean, he has a teleport. He probably died and lost his sentry. So he's going to build it in spawn and carrying it out. And normally, I'm against this, but he got it to only level 2. And then he takes it through the teleporter. And then some interesting shit happens. And keep in mind, when you're carrying a building, you take additional damage. You take 33% more damage. And then you do that. And the reason why you only build it to level 2 and then hit it once to make it level 3 is because um, you the gun will actually start shooting and it has enough health to actually be scary because the, the damage is pretty much similar except for the rockets. So here's the thing, right? So he has wrangled this for quite a while now. And you can see he's taken a lot of rockets. And you can see he has fired four healing things or oh, he, have a, he has another engineer there but if the soldiers wouldn't have ran into the sentry and died they could have just kept firing at it and it would eventually go down if he was alone but oh look at that the airstrike is pretty darn good at taking down these uh, these things here because they happen so fast uh, you can't repair it and you can't sponge it so it's a good way to retaliate but there's two sentries so sentries covering sentries it's like a law covering another law then you say, I am the law in a bad movie, if you want. So, rebuilding the sentry. Gonna stand up here and shoot. Shoot the baddies. The spy. Or at least he's known by people. It's a piece of shit. But then he uses the jag. And. I mean, the southern hospitality. And he kills him, I think. Southern hospitality is pretty good. I mean, if you ever never encounter a pyro, then sure, it's good. There you go, spies, sap and stuff. Another spy shows up, hits him one, hits him twice. And he dies to the bleed, so... Nice work there, he hasn't been lit on fire, so it's currently a straight upgrade, so... Oh, there you go, another spy! <laughs> another spy goes bye-bye, and now he has his dispenser over here, he builds his teleporter in a very interesting spot, and tries to wrangle some more... Look at this, like, you spent a lot of metal on pretty much nothing uh, in that repair. So you can see, like, you spend a lot more metal, like, with each, each swing here is, like, 25, and before it's, like, 14. So, uh, nice wrangle to keep in mind. I don't think it upgrades slower, it just repairs, and, uh... It just repairs slower. That's what it does. Alright, so, he's working on that. Slowly, he could bring his dispenser with him. Uh, Devil Man jumped by, I think. And then he's gonna work on the teleporter. He has 20 foot 6 teleportations, and let's see, he runs into a spy. Teen, 10 ton brick, big weed. And then he actually misses <laughs> with that, and now he has to rebuild. So, maybe should have wrangled that. Probably. Captain Hindsight. Hindsight is always 2020. So, the other team seems to be struggling to do that, like we haven't seen them a lot. Here comes a demo man, he lands a couple of bombs, pulls out the Wrangler this time, and then gets a couple of kills. Keep in mind that the, the Wrangler will lock, so you kind of don't have to be like sniper position with this, but you have to be sort of, at least with spies that are disguised, you, it doesn't lock, so be careful of that. Moves it, this camera goes back, he's got a lot of kills with this, teleporters level 2, he, like, he isn't using his dispenser, but his team's using the dispenser, and the dispenser got taken out, so now he's probably going to be building it here. And also for metal conservation, uh, using the Rescue Ranger just to repair, like, them buildings that have taken splash damage, then that's fine. And we also have a spy that doesn't want anyone to have any fun, so he's being the biggest piece of shit on the planet, and he uses the red tape recorder and downgrades your building, meaning you have to spend a lot of metal getting it back into shape again. So I think the red tape recorder is a bit overpowered in that regard. And then he dies. He loses everything. And so did the The femboy Dibus got killed. So, that was pretty much a standard, what you'd expect, Rescue Ranger thing. He didn't use the Rescue Ranger that much. Like, it has different uses. It's not always about picking up the building. Sometimes it's just repairing from far away because you can use, you, you use your sentry as a proxy. And that's pretty much the whole idea with this set. Uh, recently, I really like playing Stock Engineer uh, because I find it... Um, I'm not as dependent on my sentry because like yeah I can build a sentry make it level 3 and then I don't really care if it dies I mean I will rebuild it but I won't base my entire playstyle around it so excuse me commander what's the name commander snowcat has spent a lot of time 
building this in spawn, right? Oh, you saw a scout. <laughs> well, don't want to contest that. Uh, they also have the last point here, so let's build a sentry. A good spot. Let's find the best spot that we can find. So this spot, right? No, nope, can't build it here. No. Nope. Okay, so... Hmm. All right, so here's good, right? Here's good. Perfect. All right, so we also switched to the regular wrench because we don't need a jag anymore because it's already upgraded. We, we don't have any dispenser, and there's actually no one here. Then he uh, decides to go out, and you realize that this room covers all the entrances. If you just put a sentry here, no one can get in the base. And then he goes, and he has overheal and everything, and you get... He gets hit twice and loses everything. He's... How many seconds did he spend? I don't know, there wasn't a timer, but it was a lot. A lot of time spent doing nothing that ended with death and the loss of his sentry. So that's usually why I am against the notion of building your sentry in spawn and then carrying it out. Sometimes it works, like we saw with Karma's camera, where he has just died, like his sentry's gone. But his dispenser's still up, and he has an active teleporter, and his teammates are constantly teleporting through. That means the teleporter will have some sort of activity around it, so that means it's safe to bring the gun. However, if you've lost the teleporter, don't build it in spawn. I mean, you can do this with, like, Eureka Effect if you do a lot of trickery and stuff, but generally, rule of thumb, build in the field. Use the metal around you, and, um, yeah... But when you're using the Rescue Ranger, Rescue Ranger is the Sentry Enhancing Weapon. The Wrangler, also Sentry Enhancing, so that means you have to base your play around that. So, this is actually me, the one and only, yes. So, as an engineer, it's important to take care of other engineers as well, especially when defending. I may have other engineers here, so... The reason I wasn't fixing the other guy's uh, Sentry was because mine was broken, so there you go, build a dispenser, and then, of course, waste the ammo like a total idiot, because we just refilled. We, uh, we just shot and reloaded the gun and then we picked up the large ammo pack. So, I'm not sure if this is the best spot, but we do something vital called learning. So, at this point, a pyro just literally ran up to my sentry and was able to put me on fire and I barely survived, right? So, we gotta do something about that. So then we move the sentry, so I was like, alright, so now if the pyro comes, uh, the sentry will shoot him. And this is the most vital part about learning. It's like, you see something and you're like, that pyro wasn't supposed to be there and then you think hmm why is that oh that's because these boxes actually blocked my sentry but if i put the sentry here you can still shoot a fair amount and no one can get up there without seeing the sentry first so that's like the thought and that is the thought you should always have when you die in the game like that's how you get better by critically like anal analyzing what you did and it's like well I should maybe do this instead, and then you try to actually make that change. You have people who can play uh, video games for years, and they never improve. They they stay they stay the same. And I've heard players like that play competitive has like had team teammates that doesn't improve, and that is because you have a certain situation that happens where like they do something wrong, and they're like, okay, I did something wrong, but I'm not gonna alter my behavior. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing, and I'm not gonna improve. So there we go, paying attention to the other engineer buildings. Keep in mind, you don't have a HUD that says that, but... Like, in a situation like this... I'm looking that direction anyway, and I can see that it takes damage. So right here... I don't need to look at my sentry, I got my sentry health right here. I can see it fine, and I also have it here, and I can see his sentry too. So right now, we have the double engineer defense of doom. And, uh, he's also repairing it, and then... I know someone's at the spawn because my teleporter got took it taken out. Got taken out. Oh, the random grit! Ooh, we survived that and repair. 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 And the reason I didn't use the rescue ranger there is because, well, it hangs in from using the wrench, but the wrench has how higher repair abilities because rescue ranger, yeah, you get four shots, then you have to reload or switch weapons. If you just stay on the wrench, you can just keep repairing as long as you have metal. And I have a dispenser and there's a huge ammo pack. There's literally metal for days. Is what we have. So, and we now see that his gun is taking, taking some damage, and we didn't pay attention because we were too busy facing the, uh, the most difficult, the hottest spray. So now we're like, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dude. So let's, why don't we go and build? And then he's like, nope, I'm gonna build somewhere else. You were stupid and let my shit die. And, well, yep, that was on me. I should have helped. 
here and spine the corner. Spice sake. And we got Daffy Taffy, the other engineer. Oh, my building repair, repair. Switch to this and repair, repair. And then that happens. Has that ever happened to you? This is where we go like full infomercial. Has this ever happened to you? Have you ever done a thing and then the thing you tried to do wasn't the thing you really wanted, but it happened anyway? Well, then this product is for you. This product is called Get Your Shit Together. So, I'll explain to you what happens. Why did I pick up the gun? So, okay, so here we have the spy, right? Kill him. And then, we start taking damage. Alright, right, okay, so we're taking the damage, repair, and you can see the health slowly going down, so now we have 45. So keep in mind, the wrench repairs pretty darn good compared to the rescue ranger. So then we hit it and like, as I pull this up, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna pull up the Wrangler and I'm gonna shoot a rocket instantly. But here's the thing, if your Wrangler isn't active, like, cause the way it works in TF2 that you have to fully hold the weapon until it can shoot, like it does the holster animation. If you're in mid holster animation and you're right close to your sentry and you hold right click, Guess what happens? You pick it up like a fucking dumbass, is what you do. And then it's like, oh fuck, well better, uh, totally meant to do that. All right, there we go. And look how little I repair. I repair for 13, 12. And I have to move it and there's a spy here and he saps it. And I'm trying to take care of him because I can't really switch weapons and ah, we lost the sentry, but that's okay. We will like, have the level 3 dispenser. Let's see how quickly we can build this back up again. Whoa, that was quick. Wow, it was almost an instant. And then we repaired the other guy's sentry too, so... Uh, just keep that in mind. In case this ever happens to you. And then you also have, like, uh, the buffering that happens sometimes where, like, you right-click and the... Whenever you go into Wrangler mode again, it fires the rocket. I'm not entirely sure what causes that, but it happens too. Not the biggest of deals, though. Keep in mind that also that uh, Rescue Ranger can... Or the Wrangler can also destroy sticky bombs and shoot them away so if there's a demo that has like eight stickies around your sticky or your sentry then uh, you can do that so that was not the best of saves like you tried to just tank it and, uh, it didn't work but you can see if, as long as we have metal we can repair a uh, level one sentry and i said this in the video with uncle dane and that is uh if you are constantly repairing your sentry nothing can kill it uh single-handedly Except, unless it's like a heavy or a dumb man. Uh, what I meant is like a soldier or a sniper can't kill your sentry if you keep uh, if you keep repairing, uh, repairing it. So that means if you have a level one at 150 health and you have a constant metal supply, you can just sit behind that and whack that as long as he keeps shooting rockets at it. And what kind of YouTubers am I looking for in high pods? Not necessarily YouTubers. I'm looking for any kind of person that has any kind of influence or uh, different view of the game that I have. Um, to come. I'm very selective about who, uh, who I bring. I always bring someone I feel had something to, to the table. So, this is Fire once again. We're playing on Steel. One of the coolest maps. And we're going to see why having only 100 mil penalty is cool. Because you can build a dispenser. Ah, and you can bring this. Cool. Gates are about to open. He has no metal, but that's okay because we can repair it with bullets. So we're just gonna sit here and wait while well, the other team does really nothing. There we go. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, there's shit down there. Take care of that. There's buildings. Killing a dispenser with the sentry. Repair. There, you can see the repair takes a while to get there. It takes a lot of swings. So sometimes if you want to conserve metal and you don't use the Rescue Ranger, just the Wrangler, uh, you might consider waiting until the uh, Wrangle period is over before you repair it because you will be um, you will repair faster and be more metal efficient, I believe. Uh, and also refill the ammo faster. But now he has a lot of metal. He's going to work that on the dispenser. And then you can shoot the floor. More. Repair that. Or upgrade it almost to full. And uh, this is a super sneaky strategy. You know, you can put, you can put buildings where you normally can't. Uh, it's just up to you. And, oh. Wait, what happened? Wait. How? What killed them? Yeah, I know he's a soldier with the, the thing, but... Let's go back and... Back and take a look. Alright. So here, here we are. Close to the end. What? 
Okay, so so I missed it, right? I mean, we missed it again. Sorry about that. So let's go to 400. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay. That was weird. Okay, okay. That was weird. So I'm just gonna go and use drive, and we're gonna see exactly what happened. So he's actually standing there. One charge rocket kills you because it's a rocket that does mini crits. And that is 133 damage. Because a rocket does 100, right? And mini crits is plus 33 damage, so that's 133 damage in a rocket, I believe. Let's find out really quickly, shall we? Cow mangled. So this is where we're deviating. We have a lot of time, so... Or do we? Yeah, fine. Yeah, we have just a few more, so let's go in and... Let TF2 spend forever to load this. Oh, I have a sip of my water, and you can look at the paintings. Okay. So, let's see. Does a cow mangler kill you in one shot? So let's see here. We have one rocket does 101, right? So that means even at a long distance, a fully charged should one shot the scout. And it did. It did 125. Right on the money. All right, myth confirmed. A charged Cow Mangler can kill you. Didn't know that because that weapon is pretty bad against buildings, but uh, good against people with low health, apparently. But you spend four rockets on shooting one, or you can just shoot two rockets and do the same thing. But it's that burstiness you, you sacrifice a lot for. All right, so now we're still in drive, but we're gonna be featuring Eloresa, yes. The engineer who plays on a modem. That's a lot of lag, but that's okay. So, you have another engineer on offense, so it's a bit engineer heavy. So we're gonna go, we're gonna build a level one in the front with no dispenser or teleporter or anything. Eloresa, build a teleporter, build a dispenser before you build a sentry, okay? That is rule number one. So this is already not the wise. This is like, okay, we ran out of metal. Hmm, okay, so let's just go and get some more metal then. Let's just go and flag a bit while we get the metal. Okay, so we got the metal. Cool. We're not going to do anything with it. We're just going to move the sentry in this position in an uphill. So anyone who doesn't want to get shot can just move back and just not get shot. And then he gets hit. And we're not going to repair it with the rescue ranger. We're... Okay, repair! Re Spy! Uh... Oh. Hmm. Well, now you have no buildings, all right? So, we learned from our mistakes, and now we're gonna build it slightly further back, but we're not gonna build any dispensers or any other infrastructure to help our team whatsoever. Spy comes and saps it. Pyro is on the case. But we're, just gonna, we're just gonna work on this uh, sentry here. We're gonna get it to level two. No, we're actually gonna get it to level one, and then have zero metal, and then repair it with this. We could have gotten into level two, but you know, level one, so that's like all the surprise. There we go, and now we have full metal. And a single hit from this will make it, or two hits, will make it a level three. There's actually no. Ah, oh, there's a sniper! Oh, wrangle, wrangle. Oh, keep in mind, because the. What? Oh, right! The sentry is at the low ground, and you have a high hill. High hill that goes this way and you can't look up because it do, and you wrangled it wrong. You, 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 everything's wrong. Everything's wrong. And then watch it and we're lagging. Okay, so, oh. Well, what did you do wrong? <laughs> Many things. One, 
no other buildings than the centuries were built. Two, you had no plan, right? No plan whatsoever. You just, you're like, I'm going to build a century and then I'm going to carry it to the front and then I'll figure out what to do. So Elaressa, I think is a girl, basically ran out of, um, out of metal, right? So like you upgrade a century and then you have zero metal and then you're like, all right, time to move it forward. Uh, you can sustain it a little bit with a rescue ranger having no metal, but um, you can sustain so much more just by having dispenser and having more metal as you travel out. And that will just make it so more. But uh, despite having that uh, pretty shitty round, Elvesa is on a redemption round. Yes, not only one, but two redemption rounds to make up for all that suckiness that happened. So we're gonna make learn from mistakes and actually build a dispenser first. We're gonna be, oh shit. Well, that's a good thing, because uh, you do take additional damage, and as soon as you take damage, you should drop whatever the fuck building you're carrying, because you can always pick it up later and plonk it down. Yes, there we go. Putting it down there, and then we're gonna... How long do you think this sentry is gonna be here? I mean, we have a window. I mean, you can see what's there. There's a medic, a soldier, and a demo. What's good against sentries? Well, uh, soldiers and demos that have medics. So this sentry gets taken out immediately, so that's 130 metal wasted. So he's gonna go and steal some more metal from that, and then we're gonna build it. No, we're not gonna build it there. We learned that building it right in front of them got it destroyed. So now we're gonna build it further back. Yes, adapting to the playstyle, countering. Nice. And then we're gonna repair that. And we're gonna steal some more metal from you. There we go, and now we're gonna work on this thing. Oh, wrangle it, wrangle it. Deter the enemies. And then we're gonna go back and steal some more metal. Even more metal. I'm saying learning is fun. Oh, some lag. It's okay. Upgrade, upgrade. Level two, nice. Nice, nice. And then, oh, we get help from the other engineer. Nice. Double the speed. Two engineers goes twice as fast. Oh, lost the engineer friend, that's okay. We're actually gonna use the rescue ranger for what it's good for. We can now stand in the corner, take no damage, and repair the gun as our gun shoots the bad guys. Nice. So it's a pretty good spot, and also you have a backup sentry. So in case of this sentry falls, you have a second one that the enemies will most likely run into. Because most people are like, sentry down, let's go! And then there's a sentry in the corner that they don't see, and it just goes ta 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 It goes beep beep, and then they're all dead. And uh, you feel pretty good about yourself. Look at this. Four kills. Yeah, it doesn't even mean touch. <laughs> Crit, please. It doesn't even work on buildings. And uh, this is the sustainability damage. Like, oh shit, the rescue ranger is not cutting it. Quickly, run up and repair it. And now we're in good shape. We're gonna go up and wrangle it. We're gonna pressure. Oh, you have an Uber. That's okay, because I'm just gonna move it. Ah, you didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> Outplayed. I'm gonna move. Move it over here, and I'm gonna rebuild it. And oh fuck, shit. <laughs> Shit out of the leg! The leg! Run! Run! Back to spawn! Alright, so here. Build, build, build. I'm getting help from another engineer. Building up, building, 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 building. Building. Only 60 seconds left on the clock. That's okay. No dispenser still up. Barely surviving. We're gonna put the sentry in the same spot because they won't be expecting that. They thought it was gone, but now it's back. And we're gonna fix the. We're gonna look at our friend's dispenser and not fix it because we have to fix ours first. Uh, and then our okay. Now we're gonna fix it. Oh, we're lagging so bad. Uh, get the demo. Oh shit! Uh, quickly rebuild in the same spot. It just got destroyed. You won't you won't expect that a third time. And we're not gonna repair that. So everybody with OCD is gonna yell that this sentry didn't uh, dispenser didn't get repaired. So demo back there. We get a kill with it. Almost out of metal, but time is ticking out. We're lagging, but that's okay. We're surviving, and oh! <laughs> taking it, taking it, taking it. Also, people in the chat are just noticing that if you say first, uh, you, you, you get blacklisted. So I blacklisted the word first. So if you say, if you build a sentry first, your entire thing gets gets deleted, apparently. So if I, if I could only keep it to one word, if you only say first, that would be cool. 
there's so many comments on the new videos so I was like huh, first 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 and like none of them show for other than themselves <laughs> wow. right so this is the last El Resto we've actually gone back in time this was the life before we saw and we're we'll going here and we're gonna be seeing some trickery this is the last replay the final Rescue Ranger Wrangler is pretty straightforward actually um, the Wrangler isn't as strong as before so it's more of a tool but you can do cool shit like this question who can zap this gun the answer is fucking no one this is up on the high ground you can repair it just fine you can also wrangle it and pick it up if things get too dicey keep in mind you just need a hundred metal you're upgrading it to level two helping the teammates because as an engineer you're very much influential of uh, the entire game where you build your teleporter is where your reinforcements gonna come Melissa remember the teleporters next time and um, the Spencer is where your teammates gonna group up to heal when they're taking damage so if you place those correctly, you can actually do pretty well. I've seen some engineer plays where they put the dispenser in the wrong spot and it just gets your teammates killed, or you have a teleporter where you just force your teammates into a certain position. Uh, you never want that. A good teleporter gives your teammates a choice of where they want to go. They don't just force you down one hallway. Um, so there's often a lot of, in especially like teleporters that goes behind enemy lines, especially on payloads on defense, is like the dumbest idea ever. And the reason for that is because you have the enemy team you have the enemy team in the middle right so you're defending this is the enemy enemy spawn defending the car right so the idea is to go forward right so the more stuff you have blocking the cart <laughs> the better it is but if you move this behind it then it's just going to go right through right so it doesn't help to have three guys in the back and then seven guys in the front and then the other guys have 10 guys in the front and the other guys aren't with them yet. So I've seen that a lot on Bad Wars. They build like a teleporter that's like super far back when they're like taking last. And then like four guys take the teleporter and they end up behind the blue spawn. And the thing is, if you're not near the cart or contesting the cart, you're as good as dead. So basically the engineer has killed or effectively killed his own team by doing so. Just because like, oh yeah, a backwards teleporter. Yeah, that's cool. But you didn't see what happened. It was an atrocious, it was a disaster. Bring that up again. Let's see. One, seven. This is actually something that happens to us. All. So we're going to end this episode on a bit of a sad note. So there we have LRS with a double dispenser just hanging out. Being cool. That was a spy. Oh! Spy sapped my dispenser! Ha! I mean, it doesn't get more in front of you, right in front of you, than that, because you. Eloresa wasn't moving. I guess he just, like, just your face, he just went, eh, just stabbed you in the back. Cool. So that was the Rescue Ranger Wrangler combination. Um, it's good, but not as good as it was, but it's definitely a very sentry focused play. So if you want to enhance your sentry, then by all means use this combination. You have to use it a bit smart, get your timings right to repair it at the right time and also use the right tools and build buildings. Of course, teleporters always help because it effectively reduces your team's effective respawn rate at the time that they die until they get back to where they wanna be. So that is important, yes. Um, other than that, keep in mind if you play engineer that you can also use just the, engine, uh, the sentry as a, as a tool. You don't need to focus a lot of it. So I use the pistol and the shotgun. So for me, it's always like it's two entities firing. But when you use the Wrangler, it's only one entity that's shooting. So if either if they kill the, the sentry, it stops. Or they kill the uh, kill you, it stops. Uh, so it's kind of like you, you want to have two strong ones or one really strong one. 
uh, that's the thing. So, but that's situational. A lot of engineers like using the Rescue Ranger, but if you have Rescue Ranger and Wrangler and no Sentry, shit. That's what I have to say. So with that, I'm going to mention what we're going to be doing uh, next week. And next week is going to be a multi-class episode. Yes, we're going to do an item that is pretty good. I'm not sure why the text is missing, but it's called this. It's the half Saitoichi. Got changed a bit. Uh, we haven't really looked at it. I use it on my demo man uh, pretty much permanently, but the soldiers can also use this weapon. Can't change. No. If I do this, can I? Okay. So that's going to be the half side torchy. The only requirement for next uh, episode is that you get w at least one kill with it. You don't have to use it like your main weapon. But you have to get one kill with it. And the same as Demo Man, you can use whatever loadout, minimum requirement, a uh, kill. And uh, that's all. So, um, I will be doing the same thing I do on streams, is that I share the items that we're going to be winning. Let's see, do I, am I able to craft anything? Or am I out of metal? Looks like I'm out of metal. All right. But we have a lot of prizes, so there's going to be a raffle again. So if you're watching this on YouTube, then it's in the description below. It will be active six days from this video is posted. And also people in both chats, if you're just a bit patient, then I will give it to you as well. So thank you guys for watching so much. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.